What's going on guys? Good morning. It is 7.30 right now. Just what I need in the morning to wake me up. So 7.30, we are headed to Cars and Coffee. We are meeting up with a whole squad of people right now. Um, we got a few races lined up. Uh, one is a C6 Corvette that I know we are 1,000% racing. Paolo's ready to rock right now. We are on the tire. About a half a tank of the 85, so it should be a good race today. Before we get into any of that, you guys need to do me a huge favor. Go check out my boy Derek's song. It is DBP. Look it up. The song is called The Come Up. Go show some love. It is on Spotify, Apple Store, I believe. It's on all pretty much platforms. It's called The Come Up, the DBP. Go listen to it. It's fire. I've been bumping it all freaking week. It just came out. It's gas. I'm telling you, won't lie to you guys. Go run it up. Check that thing out. God bless America, baby. He's going to Cars and Coffee, 100%. Squad, GTR, Supra, Civic, Wayne and his Camaro. GT350, Garrett, and the C6 is all the way down there. Cars and Coffee is absolutely jamming today. Nothing but freaking C8s here. We got the whole squad lined up of the cars, but this is the C6 uh, we are actually gonna race today. So, like you were saying, heads, mild cam, made about 550s. Uh, 550 wheel horsepower, um, so which is great for this car because they're super light. I know these cars are capable of nines when you do like the nasty heads and cam package. Um, and obviously 85, I got a friend that has one. I think he went like 980 stick car. These are badass cars. So it's got about 50 more wheel on Apollo. Uh, granted, the only thing we have going for us is the 10 speed. And I am on the tire today, so that does help. It's gonna push me. Every time the car shifts, it's not gonna spin at all. So we're gonna see. God damn, that thing sounds built. Got straight dumps. That thing's nasty. Oh my sweet baby Jesus. I think I gotta do my exhaust today. He's got the same one I got. Holy shit. MBRP, dude. Got some welds on the back. This is gonna start up the truck with MBRP. That thing sounds pretty good. How do you like that? Oh, that thing is nice. How much was it to do it like that? Actually, it was a friend of mine. He goes, dude, I'm selling a truck. That thing is nice. She sounds nasty. Best of luck, brother. Thank you, thank you. You too. Let me get the back shot of this thing. God damn. I hope so. That thing is nasty. Well, let's see what Apollo can do. C6, C06, 427, head scam. Like you said earlier, mild Toyo Triple Eight R's. He should hook up relatively well with the gearing that these have. Let's see what Apollo got. body style coyote but it's a gen 3 motor it's built um it's it's pretty stout car made 800 wheel it's on e85 right now so we're gonna see we're racing the big dogs today
Good run, brother. Of course. That thing was that thing was nasty. Dude, that thing is nasty. <laughs> for a bolt on car, it's not for bad. Bolt on car, that thing is nasty. I think you know. I didn't expect that at all. Dude, I forgot that I put my gurney flap on, and people don't think it like actually does anything. At Pocono, it was three miles an hour difference. People don't realize when those things the, rev high. The little and they things. Stay in that it just high, stays in the power stays, band. It stays up there. It I mean, just, I don't know I've how just much. I've seen a linear move from you the whole time. It doesn't like move. It just. I shift. I can feel it. You just keep going. I'm like mother. It was good in the beginning, and then at the big end, you could just see the power to weight. You were just trying something different. I did first gear the first time, just to see. First gear was nasty. First gear was nasty. Did you hook? I hooked. Oh my, I kept yeah. taxi troll off that because I told him, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to spin or not. They do, that thing was moving. Well, before we went on the fucking highway, I did a burnout right in front of Wayne. Oh, you did? Yeah. I did a little burnout in front of him. Oh my God, he <laughs> tore the rear <laughs> end. I wish I, I wish I got that. Oh, I was like, I had to, I had to warm the tires up. Dude, it was a good run. So, you guys just saw that was some good ass racing um, with the boys. Uh, that C6 is nasty, you know. I honestly, I have confidence in Apollo. I really thought Apollo was gonna win. Um, I messed up, I left my gurney flap on. I probably should've took that off because he was pulling me on, on the big end. And you guys remember from Pocono, if you guys haven't watched that video, go check it out. Uh, I did the test, this isn't an excuse, but I think it would've been a little bit closer than it was. Um, the C6 is fast, I already knew. He made like 50 more wheel horsepower than me and the car's lighter, so I think Apollo held its own. But I, w I was gonna tell you, the wicker bill was actually three miles an hour difference on the big end consistently to like 140. At the half mile from like a 60 roll, I was doing 138 miles an hour. Without the wicker bill, I was doing 140 war, uh, 141. Same, same starting speed, same everything. Um, the little things do matter. That's why I was like, damn, I forgot. But it was still an awesome ass run. There's cool ass dudes. So happy that it was actually that good. Please drop a like, drop a comment what y'all think, go subscribe. That GT350 though was nasty. I don't know what was done to that. Um, but every time we raced, I wasn't able to start in second. We were going a little too fast. So I was hitting it from third, which was kind of like a decent advantage for us. But obviously I had him on the big end every single time. 10 speed up top on the big end, it just stays right in the power band. He was saying that too. He's like, dude, you slaughtered my ear. Uh, just from like, cause my car just stays gradually pulling like it feels like it doesn't die obviously it's gonna slow down a, a little bit on the big end because it's all motor we need more power um even garrett's car that was a super good run with my boy garrett's car uh his is making 800 wheels 85 pro charge i think it's a p1x something like that things nasty a bunch of badass cars today we just got home just got apollo in the garage i'm um, sure i'm gonna get a lot of comments on what is exactly done to apollo even though we still lost so this is the unopened motor gen 3 coyote all it has is the VMP mono blade, uh, Cobra Jet, headers, the high flow green cats, and um, an X pipe. That is it, and the car is 85 and on the tire. That is 100% what is done to Apollo. It is a very, very simple setup. A lot of people can run this setup on their car, and uh, it's it, it performs. It really does. It, the car runs extremely well for what it is and the small modifications that it has. I would really love to do cams to this thing and make this thing chop up the freaking block, but uh, for $3,000, I really don't think it's worth it for the, the amount of money I'm going to spend for the power that I will get. So eventually, maybe one day, we'll, we will boost Apollo, but I have a surprise for you guys. So I was saving this for the end of the video. Thank you guys that stayed to the end of the video. Thank you for watching again. I really appreciate it. Please drop a comment, subscribe, do whatever you like to do. Um, I like to talk to every single one of you guys. But I got the single cab, short back, baby Yodi truck back. It is here, it is outside. I am looking at it right now with the wheels on it and it is fresh. So I was gonna do a whole separate video for it, but if you stay to the end, you guys are gonna get a sneak peek of the baby Yodi truck. So let's go check it out. There's baby Yodi. Got her on some freaking Vossens, boys. Check them bad boys out. God damn, I love this freaking truck. So, Valson, it is a bronze. It's kind of like almost like a matte finish bronze. I just, I'm super excited with this truck. Like, I freaking love how these turned out and also the shot painted my brakes black, which was huge plus. So you don't see the, uh, like the cast aluminum look in there, but God, these wheels look so freaking good in the lighting all the way around on the truck. Um, so they are 20s. A lot of you guys were saying go 22s, stay with 20s. End up staying with the 20s because I just, I like the look better personally. A bigger rim would look good, but I don't wanna have to deal with any rubbing issues or mess with anything in the suspension wise. This truck drives phenomenal. Literally like a freaking Escalade uh, with the Vikings in the rain. You guys check the fitment. It is right on the edge. Like it is so perfect when I tell you. Like look at that. That is freaking perfect. I honestly, I think the, 
the whole axle might be a little bit off. I think it might be like a, a freaking hair this way than the other side. Look at this. All right, see that fitment? Now directly over to this side. I don't know if it's just me, but it looks like the other side sticks out, or this side sticks out just a hair more. I don't know, drop a comment, let me know. But yeah, that is baby Yodi truck. More to come with that. We definitely gotta do the exhaust. You guys saw the other guy's truck in this video uh, earlier. He had the side exit, MBRP. I literally have one of those sitting in the shed, so I wanna get that done also. But I, I really want to do the bed amount, so I don't know if I'm going to stick with that one or do the bed. I just have to find like the right tools and right everything to cut this and actually make it look good. Right in the side right here, nice fat cut and do like the teardrop style exhaust uh, look going out the side. It's going to be badass. This is a super bad. And that is officially a wrap for today's video. Thank you guys that stayed all the way to the end of this video to see even the little sneak peek of the baby Yodi truck. You guys saw full reveal. Let me know what you guys think of that. It is super sick. I'm in love with that truck. But that is a wrap. I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace. Earth.